Please turn off audio. Somebody is in audio on so that I can hear. There is no noise to others. And in between, if you want to speak, uh, so let me know by the message in the chat box. So you can chat, uh, message through the chat, send message through the chat box. So what we were discussing actually was that we were discussing the dynamic errors. Dynamic errors means they vary during the course of measurement. And it is most of the times, most of the times, uh, all forms of sensors. Are liable to have dynamic errors. Uh, dynamic errors. So they can have dynamic errors when used as sensors. If they are used only for sensing, if used only for sensing so they can have a dynamic error but they can have both static as well as dynamic if they are used for the measurements remember that so they can have both static as well as dynamic when used for measurements because in measurement you first need to convert a signal, that means to sense a signal, then see it in the output, then you want to read it. So you need both the measurement during the error, during the reading, which is a static one, and the error during the sensing or the converting, conversion. So that is actually called as, which is dynamic, because which will change on the input conditions. These are different things, different types of errors. So I actually started an example of that, so dielectric constant actually, I was telling about this dielectric constant here. So it's actually when you increase or decrease that input voltage or the current, you are that capstance or the temperature, sorry, the temperature which you see on that signal on the display. I was near it. Okay. Uh, are you able to hear me? Is your problem in your me? No, sir. You are able to listen to me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. yes sir. Okay, okay, then it's okay. Please respond. Yeah, so these are different types of errors which are taken care of during the working or when you use a transducer as a sensor. So we can use them for sensing, then we can use them both for readout. And in that cases, we have to take care of the errors. Then there are two different parameters, actually. These are the parameters. Okay, so then there are different parameters. There are two measurable quantities actually, which we can measure during the working of a transducer. So two measurable quantities. Two measurable quantities. One is responsivity, and one is detectivity. So responsivity is actually how it responds to the input signal. And that is determined by how what you get in the output actually. So this responsivity is actually equal to, this is equal to output, this is output signal to input signal. Remember that in this case, it should be the units of the quantity should be comparable. The unit should be comparable. Comparable means which can be converted from one form to another form, or they should have the same units. Units should be same. For example, watt for power. So in that cases, it should be same. That is how you can take actually the ratio, or they should be comparable. Like that for case of you convert the voltage or temperature per unit resistance. How much the resistance is, you convert that resistance into temperature, then you should convert the units as well. So you have to convert the units to take the comparable units not which are not different so you cannot take the different units of the two quantities which don't make any sense 
then the detectivity is that it can be converted for example it is signal to noise ratio this is signal to noise ratio of output signal how much it can detect the output signal that is detectivity that means what is the efficiency with which it can detect an output signal that is signal to noise ratio of the output and it is size of output signal signal to noise ratio is generally taken as what is the noise that means what is the randomness noise is not only the noise which is audio noise noise can be anything unwanted in the signal that is called as noise that becomes noise actually for that so that is signal to noise ratio of the output and size of the output so these are two things you can convert one from uh, you can measure them during a measurement then there are different types of transducers and as i already mentioned you that we can classify them based on the principle of their conversion what is the basic physical principle they use during their conversion like electric uh, electrical thermal and other so we will first start with actually the temperature transducers temperature transducers so we will discuss these temperature transducers in the next class so till now if you have any questions okay aswa ko koi question tha aswa if she is here don't know manage participants yeah so anybody having questions yes as far as the Okay, so you don't have any questions then. Okay, piezo sensors, yes. Okay. piezo is actually we will discuss those piezo electric sensors these are called as piezo electric sensors so these are piezo electric sensors where you give some uh, electrical input and you see the change in the uh, that dimension of a material so because this if you have a particular dimension here and you apply some field voltage so there is a change in the, the actually those electric domains here in the material so domains change they orient themselves with what will that do that will actually that when with they try to reorient these domains reorient i will write here domains reorient we will discuss them in detail actually this is just a high idea here i am giving so they will reorient by that the dimension is change sir mera question ye hai actus mein kaise aata hai hum jo usme bol rahe hai ki hum external energy nahi dete lekin isme piezo electric mein hum kya karte hai mechanical dete hai okay so you are saying that it is coming in the category of actus this uh, transducers so it's actually what we can we when we give anything additional in addition to this what is called as electrical input jab aap electrical input nahi dete ho okay jab aap electrical this is one this is mechanical dete aap message likho zara please write a message okay active means that you have electric input no no electric input sorry you don't have an electric input no electric input but you get some output that means in piezo case you give mechanical actually input 
when you give electric in this case piezo when you give electric it becomes converse piezo converse piezo so when you give piezo piezo means you give mechanical input you will get an electric and when you give electric it becomes converse piezo converse piezo converse piezo electric effect so that's how it comes in actually into the category of uh, this active so any other question There was one question from Asfa. Where is Asfa? Uska ek kuch question kiya tha usne. Electric piezo. This is okay. There is no. So actually, if Asfa is there, he can write the question. She can write the question. Yes, sir. Haan, question bolo. Kaun sa part miss kar gaye? Question nahi tha. Haan, kya miss kar gaye the? Batao. Digital meter. Analog to digital. Okay, the digital signal scales. What did, uh, we were discussing that in sir, the case errors of me, errors, me tha na sir, uh, digital meter. Ah, ah, digital, digital. That means so oh, digital. For example, if you have a digital scale, then you measure some quantity here. For example, three, four point two five six. Or those have input other than electrical. Eight minute. So in 34, for example, this when we are measuring this is a value from the digital. Uh, in case of analog, when we have static or dynamic, if you have a static, I, you know that there is a needle which you don't know exact position of this needle. But here you have no such needle. You don't have any case of no needle here. But in analogs, you have a needle, and you are not sure about where the needle should lie. What is the exact value of this needle at this point? Because you have to make a guess. If it is exactly at the center, then you take the exact approximate mid value. If it is not exactly, this it depends upon your observation. In this case, there is given value. This you have the given value two point point two five six. Ah, uh, it you don't know if it is exact. You don't know if this two five six. There is something else more here. The exact value. What is the exact value? It can be more than, than six. There can be one more digit here. In this place. Yes, sir. In this place. Or you, if this six is fluctuating, this six can fluctuate. That means it is at third place of decimal. The reading is fluctuating. You are not sure if it is uh, true or false. So that means these two have errors actually. So where the error lies actually is that the error lies in the efficiency of analog to digital converters because they convert that input analog signal which is varying to the digital. So they have the errors. They too have the errors. So that is how we can uh, guess about the errors in case of the digital scales. Okay. Yes. Sir, ये भी है ना फिर कि अगर हम कहते जो ये active होते ये auto generators होते. Self generating, yes. Hello. हाँ हाँ मैं सुन रहा हूँ yes, फिर अगर हम अदर देन इलेक्ट्रिकल देंगे अदर देन इलेक्ट्रिकल सो दे जनरेट एक्चुअली इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल बाय देम सेल्स दियर एंड देन यू कलेक्ट दैट सिग्नल एक्चुअली बिकॉज ऑफ दैट फोटॉन्स दे जनरेट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स Then we can say it is self-generator for 
for electrical input agar electrical yeah it is a self generated it gives you the yeah it gives the self generated electrical output okay sir when i think for other inputs it is not self generated yeah for electrical if yeah we, for other inputs it will not be a self generating only for electrical input when you it's actually generally based on that electric if you have an electric if we will not apply yeah if you have an electric it becomes passive if you know electric you oh, have active. then it is thank you okay yes sir so i will stop here yes i do